Okay, y'all. I am going to the Record Riot again. Um, I went to this last year, and I only found three records, but I had a great time. And since my birthday was on Friday, I thought this would be a fun little birthday outing. So I packed my sling bag. I think this is what I'm going to wear. It's just way more comfortable. That way my money and everything is right to my chest. And I have a tote bag. I got this tote bag at TJ Maxx. And I've been wanting a tote bag that would fit a record to take when I go thrifting and flea marketing. And I just think it's so cute. It's covered in strawberries. And it's adorable. So very, very excited about that also. My hair has changed. It's an adjustment. I feel like I like it in real life, but I don't like how it looks on camera. I'm gonna finish walking my dogs and get ready for Moanda because she's coming with us. You guys, we have a full bag this time. I'll have to sit down at home and show you guys everything that I got. I still have like $100, so I'm pretty proud of that. I went in there with the intention of spending money. We spent money. Eight records. One was a pickup for a friend, and two were pickup slash our collection for my husband because he's been wanting them on standard black to just play and not worry about like condition wise so they have the two albums that he's been wanting in black which was perfect and i found one thing that was on my want list random i know sons of anarchy this is volumes two and three i think there's only two sons of anarchy albums that exist and um it's this one and then there was a picture disc version which i ordered the picture disc off of discogs and i think i paid like like 120 bucks for it it was pretty expensive but it was just after we finished re-watching the show so i was like in the moment so this has been on my want list for a while but the gate folds oh there they are wow sorry don't mind me Oh my god, it's clear. It's very pretty. Y'all know I love a clear vinyl. She said, all right. Uh, I was just there to carry the bag. It towards the, I took it from you when it got heavy, though. It, honestly, I thought it was going to be a lot heavier than what it was. I'm just excited about the Spider-Man news. Oh my god, yeah. You guys, I'm still going to sit down and do a haul, so I don't want to show you guys everything. And, like, Spider-Man vinyl really isn't that expensive. Like, it's not sought after. So... Yeah, but I found two. There's people looking at them as we're at a different booth and Miranda's like, it's Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Like alerting me. She's like, there's Spider-Man. <laughs> and then I was like, well, they have the Spider-Man, so we have a problem. But he did have four of the one edition that I didn't have. So even if that person bought the three variants, I still would have came away with one that I didn't have. We did get free stickers too. So that was fun, but we're going shopping. I will do a haul experience thing when I get back and it wasn't as stinky this time there's just one guy that I think needed to brush his teeth but that's okay some halitosis I don't know what was I thought he was dying 
I just finished filming another record video, um, so we're gonna go right into this one and finish up the haul of records that I got from the Record Riot. This was the Cleveland Record Riot of 2024. I did go to last year's. I'll link that video up above if you guys didn't see it. I only picked up three records last year, but I definitely got way more this year and I am so thrilled and excited with everything that I got. So let's go ahead and jump through it real quick. The first thing we have is This Place Will Become Your Tomb by Sleep Token as well as Sundowning by Sleep Token. These were both brand new sealed when I grabbed them. They were $38 each. I did open them with my husband to see if by chance they were a color pressing but they are both standard black and these are for him to have because he wants wanted his own copies of these albums. Next up, I got Blonde by Frank Ocean. This was one that I wanted forever ago when it was like super popular and like cool to have this album, obviously. It has died down a little bit, but it is still pretty pricey. This is sealed and it is the 2LP gatefold edition and this is the official pressing. There's a lot of bootlegs of this one a lot of bootlegs of this one that are out there but this is a official pressing and it is sealed the guy did give me a discount um because i bought two things from his booth so yeah so this is sealed brand new but I've been wanting it for a while, so very excited to snag that. And then the other thing that I got from his booth was this 21 Pilots. This is Blurry Face Live. This is a bootleg. And this one he had for $47, but if you had taken that $7 discount, I paid $40 bucks for this. I am going to open this one. The notes that he put on here are... 12 Pilots Blurry Face Live 2LP Import New and Sealed. And typically my experience is if it says import, it's not authentic. Um, I do own this, uh, the authentic pressing, but I never play it because it has that awesome feature of when you open it, Tyler talks, like it has a battery little operated voice box in it. And it stresses me out that that battery will die and I won't be able to replace it. So I just never open it and play it. It's also a picture disc, so the sound quality isn't even that great to begin with. And the bootlegs for this seem to go for about like 60 bucks, which I think is kind of ridiculous. The back is definitely a better print quality than the front. The front is kind of blurry, but I think it's funny since it's a blurry face. Ooh, it does have pictured inserts, which is kind of nice. And it is the white pressing. So that was definitely a good deal. Then I did a pickup for my friend Mackenzie. The Mamas and the Papas is her favorite band. And anytime we would go on road trips together, she would always play the Mamas and the Papas and give me the rundown and the history of the relationships and the band members and all this stuff because she just loves them so much. So this is farewell to the first golden era, the Mamas and the Papas. Then this item was on my want list, as I mentioned to you guys, Sons of Anarchy, Songs of Anarchy, Volumes 2 and 3, $30 for this. It is the clear pressing. I opened it in the car and showed it to you guys, but this was one thing that was on my want list and I'm so happy I was able to check something off of my want list. It was so satisfying and then I found it at a good deal and that it was this random gem because... I really didn't think I was going to see this there, but it was at the last booth that we went to, so that was awesome. The last two things are very similar to what I bought last year at the Record Riot. These actually came from the same vendor, but it is the Spider-Man 2 soundtrack. He had these priced at $22. Um, I paid $20 each for these, but their value is about like $15. These are in really good condition though. It's sentimental. I wanted to support the, you know, the record stores and such. So very happy to grab these, even though I did kind of pay a little bit more than what they are worth, but they're priceless to me. So this is the Peter Parker Spider-Man edition. So then you have this one on the back of this one. This is like super, oh, it's Sandman. Looking at this upside down was tripping me out but we have Sandman and this is number 595 out of 10,008. And then on the back of Sandman is 
this one. This version. Look at that. Beautiful. And then we have, oh, look at that photo there. And this is 509 out of 10,008. The back of that one looks like this. So the only version I'm missing is the James Franco version, I think. That's the only one that I'm missing of this. I'm very excited to add those to my collection. So that is what I ended up picking up from Record Riot this year. And since we were there super early and we paid the early entry, they actually gave us free passes, free early entry for next year. So I can go next year and not be like $15 in the hole because we'll have free entry passes. So look at this. So super excited about these. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on my calendar so I don't lose them. And we also got some free stickers, but it was a lot of fun. I'm very happy that I went. Uh, I really enjoyed it last year. Even though I only walked away with three things, um, I definitely had a way better time this year. And going in early is definitely worth it because if you wait until it's cheaper, everybody is there and it's like body to body and it's just too much for me so i'm very happy let me know what your favorite thing was that i picked up and i will see you guys again very very soon peace out girl scouts